fighters match up with each other? Well, we'll take a look at the tail of the tape. And the, the dimensions are similar, but what's not similar, and we don't have numbers on this showing, but the experience, Lopez. The challenger, Rogers Matakwa. He is a young man who, in 2000, emigrated to quality opponents. And here is the exciting Juan Manuel Lopez. 2004 Olympics and has been a terror as a pro. And he said, I'll take the first round to see what Matagua has. I want to box a little bit more against him, but if nice I come out with the right hook. And there is that right hook landing. Matagua out. And the reason for that is Matagua's walk, walking right into the punch. Right. And his hands are very, Matagua's hands are very long. A couple of times with some straight rights from uh, Oliver Lockchin. But well, number two, this one is scheduled for 10 with Juan Manuel Lopez on the right of your screen defending uh, his junior featherweight championship at 122 pounds against Rogers Matagua from Philadelphia. Jackson, by just an assassin in most of his fights. And you see punches in round one. Very, very high percentage for Lopez. That's yeah. the number. That to all kinds of styles so far, he's, he's doing great here, having no problem. He the, said he earned his way here. He fought a lot of good fighters, not necessarily great fighters, but good fighters. That's what he needs to do, uh, give him angles, give him movement, lose his speed. Subscribers are. And <laughs> Bernard Hopkins, I mean, I, if he's listening, he is known for hit buddy. So. Big left hand by Lopez. So Lopez flat at a right hook, but Matagua just won't stop coming at a right hand by Matagua. Rogers is still a little bit out of range. He's, he's throwing big power big punches. Big right hand landed to the head of Lopez. <laughs> and they ruled it was a clash of heads. So that's what caused that punch. So in order for them to... Uh, there, there goes the head no, again. No, 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 no. Leading right now for the eye of Lopez. Put Matagua early in the fight. I think it's a little bit of both. He's getting hit and... As we head into round number five of this championship match, Juan Manuel Lopez, the champion in the orange trunks, battling Rogers Matagua. Matagua <laughs> just keeps coming. <laughs> Left hook by Matagua lands as Lopez let him, let him, let him, swings wildly. With 18 KOs among his 25 wins. Lopez fought a very smart round. Looked a little bit shaky there. We headed to round number six. It appeared as if he kind of cuffed him and sent him down, did Lopez, but you know, Lopez doing exactly what his corners telling him to do. There's, there's no need for him to slug it out with this battle. I mean, we, we see that. Under a half minute left here in round number six. Now more action in the center of the ring, a little awkward, but still they hope as Roger Matagua, the challenger, comes out to face the champion Juan Manuel Lopez. Lopez a 2000 season, but you know Matagua is, is slowly wearing down. And oh, might... right hand by Matagua! Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, he, well, I was gonna say maybe he might be able to catch well, the hook like he landed a big right hand. Steve, he's not, Matagua, the Gary lands the hook, not cutting the ring off, but still managed to get get some punches in. He is, and, and the longer stop, this stop. fight goes, you have to be impressed with Lopez's ability to change. He's not landing or yeah. throwing any jab. Very good stop, point. Stop, That's stop. exactly stop. true. Stop. And Lopez counters himself. Lopez is missing a lot. Pivotal There's a round in the fight. Can Lopez take command of this fight again? Stop. Clearly, Lopez is ahead on all the scorecards, we would imagine. Round eight of this 12-round championship match. Juan Manuel Lopez in the orange trunks, the champion. Putting his junior featherweight title on line against Rogers Matagua, the 31-year-old uppercut by Matagua. I haven't seen that. And another straight left hand by Lopez. They both land big power shots. Right hand by Matagua. And a left by Matagua. And a big right hook by Lopez. And Matagua, and a nice straight left hand by the 26-year-old Lopez. And if Matagua. Roger, and then he blasts Matagua with his own right hook and sends him back. Matagua may be in a little trouble here. Big right by Matagua. Wow. 
He is throwing those punches huh. from New Jersey. This is a fight, guys. At the bell there, we saw that right hand as the referee was trying to get in, and that was a significant punch by Matago, one of the straightest he's thrown. We head into round number nine. Some thought it wouldn't get this five, in which Matago was sent to the canvas. Matagua, as Lopez pushes him back, left hook to the body by Matagua. Big right by, that one may have hurt Lopez. Both men are off balance. Some uncharted territory for Juan Manuel Lopez. Both fighters oh. reckless. Both fighters reckless. I don't blame. Lopez getting the best of that exchange. I'll tell you what, a lot of a lot of head butting and wild swings inside that. Both fighters doing inside fighting. It's become a brawl here in round number ten. It is a pier six brawl. Both men are going at it in every way possible, and that includes some questionable tactics by both. Juan Manuel Lopez, the champion, in the has been twelve rounds twice in his career. Now, uh, Lopez complaining about a low blow and then landed one back right away. A little bit less in this round. Another big body punch by Lopez. And Steve, you mentioned toward the mid to late rounds, it's been Matagua coming back. Big hook and a right hand by Matagua. Matago keeps coming. Excellent shape. Big bombs exchanged, and Matago lands a right hand. Lopez looks like he's got some issues. Wow. What a fight. Matago sends him six. This is a round that Juan Manuel Lopez has never seen in his boxing career. Matago's been here twice before. Power punches. Juan Manuel Lopez, the pride of Puerto Rico, 26-year-old, undefeated champion, making his shot. Right hand! Lopez hit with some big shots here in the 11th round. Remember, he has never been to this round before. How will he hold up? Good left hand by Lopez. And Steve, you made the point earlier, it's not as if... Lopez lands another straight left hand, but when he comes in now, he is squaring himself up. Lopez making himself an inviting target from this, though, is not what you would anticipate from him. And it's gone south a little, but he's had a good round 11. Big left and a right by. Oh, left hook by Matan on the right. Lopez is in trouble. How much time left can that be? Wow. He has a mission. For Lopez, it is to survive the 12th round. And for Matagua, it is to do what he did in the last round. Did that one minute rest do enough for Juan Manuel Lopez? It's very simple, Al, at least Lopez. in the mind. Wow, he's throwing all right lead. That's the way to beat a left hander. All right leads. Both men are stumbling. This is a wildly exciting fight. Lopez in big trouble. He is in trouble. He has to hold. It's his only chance, Al. I think you're right, Steven. I don't know that he can right now. It's, a, it's really a time issue. Left hook. Lopez trying desperately to hold on. Matagua's got plenty of time. Plenty of time to get him out of there. It's an eternity at this point. Matagua had a fight of the year candidate in 2008. In one in 2009. But for Lopez, much at stake. An undefeated record. What they thought was superstardom. It's all on the line right now. Matagua, Matagua, big right to the body. Can he even get a knockdown? That might help him make this a 10-7 round. A left hook. Can Lopez stay up? To the winner by majority decision, Porriquas. Tejaguas, Puerto Rico, still the undefeated WBO. Junior featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel.